Native Instruments has officially discontinued Absynth 5. I've been using this synthesizer for quite some time, so I figured I'll show you a quick sound design technique that I've used on this synth often. So this is the sound we're going to create. Alright, so let's start from scratch. I'll click on File here and select New Sound. I'm going to go to the Patch section. So there are three different sound sources we can activate in Absynth. Oscillator A is active right now, it's set to a sine wave. So we get this pure sine wave tone. We can turn on the filter section, the modulation section for each of the three sound sources. And then in this master section, we can add a wave shaper, another filter, and this filter can be swapped out even to a modulation here by selecting something like the frequency shifter. So now this becomes a modulator, but I'm not gonna turn anything else on except for the effect section. So I'll turn on the effect and the etherizer effect is active. Let's click on parameters here to switch over to the effects tab. And now we're looking at the etherizer effect. So there are different effects that we can activate, but you can only choose one out of this list. The etherizer is essentially a granular effect processor. So if you listen to this pure sine wave tone with the default settings on the etherizer. So you get this interesting chorusing effect to that sine wave. Just to compare this without the effect. So that's your pure sine wave and now with the etherizer. Subtle chorusing being introduced there. Alright, so that's nice. But let's go ahead and further tweak the settings of the etherizer. The first thing I'm going to change is the rate here, the grain rate. So if I want to introduce more grains per second, I can increase this. And we have this nice visualizer here that shows us what that would look like. More grains per second or less grains per second. There's a feedback section here. So it's kind of like a delay effect. We can send the process signal back into the etherizer. That just exaggerates the effect a bit more. Be careful as you increase this parameter, the output level might increase and you might clip. I'm actually going to bring the dry signal completely down so we just hear this process sound. Green duration. If I shorten this, the sound will get a little glitchy. And at 0%, we have no signal at all. Now there's this really interesting random parameter here for all the individual etherizer parameters. So I can randomize the rate. I could randomize the feedback. It doesn't seem to be doing too much. I can even randomize the green duration. All right, so all this stuff is cool. Now let's check out this section over here. So we have transposition for the granular engine. So we can transpose the entire green cloud up or down. 24 up, so what is 24 down? That's in semitones. We can also randomize that. And you get this really interesting visualization for it. All right, now let's turn on the filter here. We have two filter types, a cone filter and a bandpass filter. I'll leave it at the bandpass. And this creates a really interesting effect. I'm gonna set this filter frequency to the highest and then randomize it. So essentially the filter frequency is just jumping around the frequency spectrum. And let's increase that Q factor to increase the feedback or resonance. And there's that really interesting glassy sound. If I adjust the green rate, reduce it. We can almost hear like a spatial processing to this glassy sound. Lastly, let's check out this filter quantize option. It's set to none. 
but I can choose from any of these scales. Let's choose a major 7. So now instead of randomizing the filter frequency position, it's kind of quantized to all the frequencies that will give us a C major 7 chord. You can try a minor 7. I can again reduce the grain rate. That sounds pretty cool as well. Now if you reduce the green duration, we introduce this glitching in the sound. And then when it's really small, close to zero, you get this really interesting bubbling effect. I'm going to increase the rate here. Maybe increase the feedback here as well. So as you can hear, a lot of really unique sounds you can create here in Absinthe. And that was just using the etherizer. So to keep in mind again, if you listen to the original sound, we're still just using that pure sine wave tone. Alright, I hope you found that helpful. Check out Absinthe 5.